As brothers and business partners, Chad and Troy McGuinney share a number of convictions. And I would say one of them that stands out at the top is really demonstrating leadership uh, in the communities in which we do business. Sentara, by nature of its location and grand design, has grown to become the heart of Northern Colorado. I've never seen anybody this young, this visionary, this committed to building an entire region. Condensed to a mission statement, both are passionate about creating great places for people and providing fabled experiences. Their words are there, but they become that much more powerful because of their actions. And the power of that leadership is really what enriches our community and makes us all so much better off for their engagement. Land, brick, and mortar mix to create a partial view of the fabled experiences they offer. As much as what they do at Sentara are the things they do that most folks don't have the opportunity to know about. That's what's powerful about both of them. You see the hospital, you see the shops, you see the jobs. What a lot of people don't see, the commitment to really being community builders. I am absolutely convinced that Chad and Troy are into making a better community. That vision encompasses a lot of different things. It's economic viability, it's philanthropic help. The most revealing insight into these quiet, unpretentious leaders comes into sharp focus away from the spectacular landscape. It's here they greet a family of friends who appreciate the support they've received for the past 10 years. My family has been affected when my wife came down uh, with MS just over 10 years ago. They were very supportive to us directly. And when it hits your family, it just takes it to a different level. When you see them in their business and their family and their, their friendships, they're, they're very committed. And I, it's a great way to go through life. Their actions in terms of what they do personally, you know, that energy gives birth to more energy. It's not just leadership by example, it's leadership by encouragement. It's very important to us to be able to watch other people do what they're passionate about and make a, a real difference in people's lives. And so we have the MS team at McQuinney. And it's the direct link or the heartstrings to MS that makes them so passionate. One of our associates was diagnosed with MS. It took a, quite a hit for us as a team. So we kind of took up the cause with the help of Chad and Troy backing us with the, founda with the McQuinney Foundation. We started a uh, McQuinney walking team with the you know, MS Walk. Having a co-worker, I think, brought a lot of people around. We're, we're like a family here at McQuinney. We help each other out, but we, we are touched when anyone you know, has to go through something like that. That's why McQuinney Associates gather to create Valentine's cards to sell to one another. The proceeds go to fight the battle against MS. Our people are so passionate and believe so strongly in what they do that they're, they're just inspiring to be around. I'm proud to work here. <laughs> They've had fun raising money for the cause. At a pay-at-the-door pizza party, associates created decadent chocolate desserts and voted to determine the most sinfully delicious. And later on, if we haven't gone through all the, the chocolate uh, as part of the luncheon, then we will put them on plates and sell the plates of dessert that will benefit MS. And it does come from Chad and Troy. As associates, we're led by their example. They also staged a karaoke performance with a purpose. They're gonna pay us to stop. Money in the bus. Yeah. <laughs> the way, like, why do they stop? Oh, that's a good idea. That <laughs> yeah. Money yeah. We're saying it until there's 10 bucks in the box. Yeah. I'll shake her us all. It all worked. It all added up. The cards created by McWinney Associates cost just a dollar. It takes just five dollars to attend the pizza party. A bargain, taking us one step closer to a cure. We are all one big team, and when we can join forces for MS, together we make a big difference, and we're proud of that. The MS champion, Brant Gluth, appreciates those small steps toward a cure. 
that's one thing with MS that you start to value quite heavily is being able to take steps. I mean, if it doesn't matter if it's a small step or it's a big leap, I mean, every step is a step forward. For more than 10 years, Brad has organized a guest bartender night at Lucky Joe's, his former employer. The night allows him to raise money and awareness for the MS Society. He uses every opportunity like this to help people understand the disease. Talking to somebody who's had MS for a little bit gives people an idea, well, this is what's happened and they can start actually trying to prepare for it. Realizing that they're not alone helps out a lot. Knowing that there, is, there are support groups out there like the MS Society. Here comes the sun, here comes the sun, I say it's all right. In his unique, determined style, Brant goes to work each morning. He works as a business analyst for the 8th Judicial District. He sees things out of the box. I don't even know if he knows that a box exists. The task basically says click and see related email and go back and actually show you. Brant is smart and witty and moves through life steered by a self-deprecating humor, powered by a turbocharged yeah, yeah. attitude. That's old town that yelled at me when I ran the red light. <laughs> He's a, a great choice for champion just because he is the most upbeat, positive, and sharp kind of character. And he puts a face on a chronic illness. This can be dealt with, and I'm proof positive. Good times. Hi, I didn't do it. <laughs> the former chef, runner, and mountain biker has had to adjust to the unpredictability of MS. He misses those things, you know, but it, you know, that's from me spending a lot of time with him that I get those, those, those little insights. He doesn't go around telling people all the things he can't do, you know, he just, he just does it. You just don't know. But at the same time, there's some benefit in that I don't think any of us really know what we're going to have tomorrow. And so maybe it's a reminder that uh, you just enjoy what you've got. On his journey, the MS Society, friends, and family have smoothed out the bumps in the road. Those closest to him understand what it takes to live with MS. There's a lot of people involved with MS uh, to many degrees, varying degrees. Um, and it pretty much takes everybody to keep, keep things moving forward. Oh, where you live? Brant takes his role as MS champion seriously and hopes to unite us around the cause. Oh, everybody that's coming out here is coming out because they have a dream that there is going to be a cure and somebody that they know is affected with MS. I'm looking forward to a day when that hope is actually a reality. There's advances made every day. It's, we live in interesting times with MS and the, the more that people know about it, the more people try to help out the more likely a cure is going to come up sooner than later. And I think it's going to be sooner than later. Chad and Troy share the hope and have stepped up to move us forward. I don't know if it's, uh, it's something that we really think is well deserved. Um, you know, it's, just, it's part, of our, part of our job, part of what we do. Through encouragement, they help to mobilize through friendship they make a difference. Oh, it's real clear, leaders lead. They are absolutely leaders in this community. From an early age, they were taught to deliver more than they expect to receive. That guiding philosophy makes them successful in business and earns them the admiration of our community. It's kind of like the core of why I work here, because at McWinney for sure, but I think just even individually, you know, just to get outside of yourself and to to realize that you know you can have an impact on the the greater world. We celebrate Chad, Troy, and Brant. Their compassion, leadership, and fearless attitudes move us one step closer to a cure. <laughs>